Hi, this is Peter Godinas, your ambassador with KDTV, with another version of Good Morning Port Wainini. And we have a celebrity here this morning, and I'm going to get her name right this time, Sylvia Munoz, with a Z, schnapp, with no S. How's that? That's pretty good. That's I very think. good. All right, no need for another take. But we're excited to have you here. It's been an interesting last three months. Um, you were in the battle, so to speak, and the results are in. And now, I guess we can call this program called Moving On Now, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want you, I had a vision. I saw, I saw this documentary in my mind about you 10 years from now. Just you being a, this leader who, in the midst of adversity, Port Wanimi's too small, too frilly, too silly, all this stuff. But you, as a leader, you made it all happen. And some of the reasons why is hopefully what we're going to talk about today. Okay. How's that for a vision and pressure? That's great. All right. Thank you, Peter. I I'm a visionary that. with this thing. Yeah, I received that. <laughs> but you know, it was it was an interesting campaign. You fought the good fight, and you know, Measure M didn't win. Now it's called Make It Happen. M. That's what M stands for. What would you say foundationally? What everybody's attitudes needs to be, including your own. You know, for 2015, and of course I became the mayor last week mm -hmm. um, there at Port Wainimi, and we have two new electeds on the council, so there's three of us that remain, and two new uh, figures that have joined the group. I believe that 2015 is really a year of celebration. 2015 is going to be full of joy. We have so many other things lined up for the city, you know, and it wasn't where Measure M had to pass or else. It really is where we had so many good things going on. We've had some great new team members that have joined us within the last year and a half, a new city manager who's come in and really has taken a look at um, whether it is right-sizing, uh, whether it is um, cutting back on certain things, whether it is moving forward on some of these great ideas that we've all had for several years, mm -hmm. but nothing has happened. Um, we really are looking at creating a very diverse but very fun community for Port Wainimi's residents as well as others in the county. So that's what we have to take a look at. I actually have the song in my mind, Celebration. Who oh sang gosh. that? Cool in the Gang? That's right. I'm so, going to get up and dance. But I'm so not it that. goes celebrate, good times, come on. And so that is really going to be my theme song for 2015. No, I like it. I like it. You know, it's always about the theme song. You know, it's all about uh, theme and implementation and theme song. Yeah. So it really celebration. is. Yeah, celebration really is a year of jubilee. You know, jubilee is where you've gone through really a lots of the past. You know, you forgive dad or whatever mm -hmm. is the case, but you also then look forward and everybody's celebrating. And so uh, what we have coming on is that um, we have for a long time, and I know I've had this vision of having a farmer's market. Wow. down on Wainimi Beach. And so that is going to become a reality in 2015. That sounds fun. It is a lot of fun. We have um, both the beach being restored as well as our pier. And although it has taken many months to put both of them together, we just realized um, over the course of the last two weeks is that um, Congresswoman Julia Brownlee has written some special legislation that has been passed mm. and it's getting us even more sand than the any of the original two million from the state, wow. any of the original money from Congress. This is a special, special allocation. And so we will have about a third more sand than ever before. That's and you know that's kind of Peter, I looked out on Sunday when we had that beautiful sunset. And I actually saw people playing football on the beach. Man. And to me, I almost cried because that is really what our beach is supposed to look like. That's what it engages. It, it, it engages friendships and family, really having a lot of fun on the beach. And that's what we're coming <clears> to. So not only the restoration of our beach, which is one of our prime assets there in the city, but also then the pier. And on a daily basis, people used to go out to fish there. It, you know, they're out at the ocean, beautiful, beautiful weather down there. Right. So we're going to be able to reopen that um, sometime in the next couple of weeks to about a month. Gosh. And that's another celebration, too. Um, I love your attitude about things because, you know, when you think about it, I understand that you're an expert, on under, that you understand the uniqueness 
of Port Wainini. It's like no other city mm -hmm. in Ventura County or in the world. Mm -hmm. And yet here we're expecting you to come up with specific answers. But the, the leader you are, you're setting the, the feelings, the emotions, the visions. You know what? The answers seem to be coming and they're going to come from your mouth. So that's why I'm absolutely sure this documentary is going to be a real thing for me. So you mentioned the sand, the sunset, the people playing, the uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, keep on talking, keep on preaching it, girl. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And so, you know, also, too, is that um, people may not see this or may have never respected Port Wainimi before, but we actually have the largest employer of Ventura County in our city. They are within the bounds of city limits. Right. And then we have a special district, and the special district is the Port of Wainini. And um, for many years, they have touted that they, in effect, both directly and indirectly, affect about 300 or $400 million a year in commerce. And that is a major player in our city as well. They are within the city of Port Wainini. Yes. And we're the only city in Ventura County, whose city limits actually extend into the ocean. Really? Yes. I've heard of oceanfront ocean property, but this is ocean-based property, so <laughs> keep on going. <laughs> and so, <laughs> Port Wainimi is very unique. Very much so. I was reading back in some history of um, the area here, and Ventura County was carved out of southern Santa Barbara County. Right. Originally, when California was shaped, um, this area here was part of Santa Barbara County. And That's so right. back in 18, I believe it was like 72 or 75, was when Ventura County was formed and there were only three townships. Do you know who they were? I can imagine one was Port Wainini. One was Wainini, which okay. it wasn't called Port back then, but oh, it was okay. Wainini. Okay, Wainini. The next one was Ventura. Okay. And Satikoy. Satikoy. See, that was, that was a true question, you know, so, but I did not know that. Right, and so, um, in effect, we've been around since the formation of Ventura County. Senator Thomas Barr, who had the vision for a wharf, built a wharf, right. couldn't build a harbor. He ended up dying um, back in the early 1900s. Wow. His son Richard mm -hmm. then saw that through. And so, for this gentleman to have been a senator who represented this area, and very influential, not only in this area statewide, but beyond that. Um, he's the reason why we have Bardsdale out of Fillmore. He and his brother Cephas Bard created the first hospital in, right. in Ventura County, right? right? The one in Ventura, in Ventura. He was instrumental in actually founding Union Oil Company, the original oil company of California, and that was outside of Santa Paula, Ojai. Thomas Bard was that's part right. of that. Thomas Bard, that's why Wainimi exists, because of Thomas Bard. And so with that legacy, I'm just riding the coattails no, of what, I, they, I'm what they created. Right? I, knew, I knew Santa Paula was like the hub of activities at one point, but to know that Wainimi, that one time was not called Port Wainimi, was part of that mix. Wainimi. Yeah. And that fact that Satakoi is considered Ventura, I mean, my mind is totally reset, yeah. you know, so to speak. <laughs> Thanks. And it really does make the uniqueness of Wainimi. Yeah. And it kind of reminds me of just the movie that basically it's like the town that couldn't. They had every reason in the world to to fail. But guess what? That ain't going to happen. That's right. And I, I Not on my theme. watch. I can't, I can't <laughs> celebrate good. Okay, I'm not going to break out into times. I'll do the background. <laughs> But that, you know, that is really exciting. And then you had mentioned the, uh, the two large entities in mm -hmm. Port Wayne. Mm -hmm. I would think you would think how we treat them and the behavior we show to them as leadership would be real important. Do you think there's any particular type of behavior that we need to show these people? You know, the um, uh, Port Wayne, the city of Port Wainimi really has um, different kinds of tax bases that we then could use and capitalize revenue, so to speak, what you and I would, you know, calculate as revenue. Right. Okay, you know, what's your salary? What do you make? Mm -hmm. And then from that, you end up spending right. on basic needs, necessities, you know, needs and wants, right? You have the need list and then you have the want. Well, I want that, but do I need it? Maybe not. And so Port Wayne, the city has actually had to look at that year over year over year. And there's also a change in some of the calculations. Um, 
the transportation um, tax that we have been able to do a lot of our um, streets as well as pay for transportation. You right. know, we engage with um, the group that was formerly known as Gold Coast Transit. Mm -hmm. So they do the transportation yes. of our community, right? Mm -hmm. Well, moving forward for this year and beyond, that money cannot be used for streets. It has to be only used for transportation purposes. Interesting. So then cities like Port Wayne Emer are left saying, okay, so how are we going to fix our streets? Mm -hmm. We have one of the best looking streets in all of the county. And that's yep. what we take pride in. Mm -hmm. Our folks really know how to make it work. So that when you cross over into Port Wyoming, you know you're in I, a I different pop, city, pop right? Pop free and a way to be. I mean, I just I just thought pop about that. free, you know. I mean, I, you know, it's so funny. You take for granted just the fact that I know it's a beautiful street, especially the one that where City Hall lines up. Not Ventura a bump, Road. Not a bump in the road, but I right. took that for granted. That so we have to come up with maybe another revenue source or revenue stream <clears> in order to pay for the streets. And um, so it's going to be really these next couple of years really making our money work and work smart. You know, I just think we just have shaped a whole new way of interviewing because I really think it's really unfair to ask a leader, a world leader like you, like what's the answer right now? Because I got this feeling that the actual answers are not in our heads right now, but soon will be very soon. You know, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's in six months, a year. But I like your attitude, setting the foundation yeah. of excitement and vision, and oh my gosh, yeah, you know. So we I like, have some, I like your style. So thank you. You're so welcome. you know, with, with transportation, that changes, yes. and then we are a small city, so we don't have the car dealerships, nor the big box retailers, <clears throat> nor retail centers, <clears throat> really, right. except for the one on Channel Islands, the one at Ventura and Channel Islands Boulevard, uh, maybe a couple down Ventura Road. But we don't have the larger ones that you see right off the 101 freeway right. or the 118 right. or, you know, where people can capitalize and right. and you get sales tax dollars and all of that, it's right? It's just the traditional way of, of gaining revenue in a city. Yeah. So sales tax for us is a very, very small <laughs> slice of the pie. Yeah. And a lot okay. of the largest cities have used that to help them pave the roads, to help them pay for other kinds of services in the city. Port Wyoming doesn't have that. Yeah. So when we were looking at Measure M, we were looking at Measure M to rely on that for us. Right. Unfortunately, it was defeated, mm -hmm. not by a great margin, but no. by a margin, mm -hmm. right? And clearly, we were outspent. I'm not going to, you know, go into many more much detail there, but we have to look at then the next steps of what happens. You know, clearly, what we had seen is that if um, there were some corporations that exist in the city, mm -hmm. no matter where you are, whether it's on base, whether it's at the port, whether it's within the city, um, like off into a road or wherever, right. um, if you're doing business, you have to pay a business license fee. So we actually saw some members of the corporate community who hadn't paid business license taxes, who within couple of months came in and paid them and back paid. You had mentioned that. It's and like that's a, just, a uh, hand, that's just, you know, I can count on one hand maybe all of those, but what effectively it has been is that people have said, you know, well, am I sitting correct with this tax? And if they feel that they weren't, then some of them actually then came in and said, hey, you know, you're interesting. right. Interesting. It's I, like they I had a conscience. Paid. It's like, so, so that's like on to something possibly, that I did not think about. That is possibly what the next, you know, the next avenue is for many people. Um, and so clearly we still have a business license tax. Of course. Always will we're, be. We're not, up, we couldn't update <laughs> it. Right. Right. But um, certainly there are those with consciences who are coming in and saying, you know, I want to make it right. I want to go into 2015, year of Jubilee. Celebration. I, I want to go into the year being right about things. That is, and I think these people who are stepping up, I can't help but think, you know what? They're role models. They are. They're setting the pace. Yeah. 
They are. You know, let's sell you know, like celebrate. Let's celebrate them. Yeah. And I'm sure yeah. somebody's going, well, I want to be like that. I don't want to get yeah. left behind. I'm going to go and pay my sales tax too, I think. Yeah. So we have a lot of really positive things. Some things I can't tell you about because we're working oh, on. Oh, tell me you got to kill me one, right? <laughs> no, I, I love it. But, you know, it's going to be really a celebration. I, I, I am excited about it. And maybe it's just the whole media sports. You know how, like, somebody makes a mistake and they replay the play over sure. and over and over again. It seems like politics, if I could use that term, maybe it's the same thing. We just keep on playing, but no, we gotta, we gotta start seeing, you know, the future in terms of what that video looks like. And I think you've just done an excellent job of this. And uh, how I was gonna handle this interview is completely different than what I did. And the theme, the celebration, the sure. jubilee. You know, and one of the things too is that um, Captain Vasquez actually held mm -hmm. a, a reception for a lot of the community leaders, not only. West County, but East County, um, at his home just recently. And um, to know that uh, folks who have worked on BRAC 1995 and BRAC 2005, which, you know, I worked on, and we really took a look at why the bases are here and why we wanted them here. Mm -hmm. Well, effectively at this event, then, I heard from several sources that we not only created something great, we created something pretty excellent because our theme at that time was location is the best. Yeah. We have the best place here. There's so many commands now and the growth of Naval Base Ventura County was because of what happened in 2005. Interesting. And I heard it from the horse's mouth. There you go, right from Sunday, the source. Right? Yeah. And so um, we have many more commands that are coming. Uh, the State of the Navy address, which is what the captain gave last, it was about March or April, so we're coming up on a year, and they're going to be giving another address for the chamber here soon. Um, but what they what they told <coughs> us is that there's this whole move to the Pacific, right. a shift to the Pacific. And so we are effectively seeing that at Naval Base Ventura County, i.e. Port Wyneme. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. we, we just applaud them for what they've done, mm -hmm. but they've really created something where there's more growth at um, Naval Base Ventura County. And the Port of Wyneme, we have never stood in the way of their growth. I want everyone to know that the city of <coughs> Port Wyneme has bent over backwards for the Oxnard Harbor District Port of Wyneme to do the business it needs to for a long, 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 long time, even predating our community development director <laughs> who's been with us so about 30 years. I know age is here now. And so what, what effectively is, is that if they've said, you know, they need this or they need this land or they need that or they need whatever it is, the city of Port Wayne has always been there to help them champion the better things for what the port is here to do. Exactly. Because if they're successful, the city's successful. Yes. And so go. I want everybody to know that we've never stood in the way of their success, nor probably will we ever stand in their way. And so we just have to work together as partners, but knowing that the city actually does have resolutions and ordinances and everything else that the port has to abide by. It's almost as if, Peter, is that you come to your mom and say, you know, mom, I don't want you to be my mom anymore. I want you to be my friend. And your mom says, you know, I'll always be your mom. Yeah. I can be your friend, but I will always be your mom. So That's effectively for the city of Port Wayne, you know, we will always be the city over no, Oxnard no. Harbor District and over Naval Base Ventura County because why? They exist within city limits but we can work effectively together. No, I love it. And uh, all things must come to an end, including this wonderful interview. I always like to save something so people can see it. But you mentioned celebration, the song. So how the words look, because I want to do this in the background. So Celebrate you know, good times. Come woo -hoo! on. <laughs> this is Peter Godinas from KDY TV. Until next time. <laughs>